All right, let's see if I can get this working. I think it's the focus it. I think it's the time to clean up my PC. It has gotten some nice shit on it. Focus, focus. Yeah. Definitely time to clean it. So the first thing is first. I gotta take it out. My god, I have been neglecting this beauty. Well... I have a can of some sort of compressed air. And... Which way this opens? Well, <laughs> I think I'm gonna take the biggest gunk out first with a damp cloth or something. Alright, the outside has been pretty much clean with the vacuum. So let's see what does the inside say. Uh, suspected, full of shit but not as much much as in the outside because of the filters. Still better take care of it now before it becomes a bigger fire hazard. Now I believe this computer will be much happier. And unlike me, it's not full of shit anymore. But... Oh hey dog. I have this crazy idea. I mean... If God's will, the gods of focus, I mean. This here is a, no, yeah, this here is a firewire card. It's got even an internal firewire. Will you focus? And, yeah, you know, firewire is kind of dead protocol anyways. And most audio production stuff has moved on. So... I have this crazy idea. Uh, mine, this is an AMD system, uh, one of the original thread rippers. So, what if I put one of these inside? I know it's not supposed to work, but I read somewhere on, let's say, the internet uh, that this could actually work. So, yeah, an interesting experiment. Alright, no cable management, no nothing. Even this dangly piece that should go to a Thunderbolt kind of thingamajiggy header, header but eh, I let it be there. Um, I had to steal a USB port, and um, it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I had to steal this one. It's probably one of the front headers. Because from this USB port there's only like power lines, I think, uh, coming out. If this works I'm gonna need to get a header splitter or something. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, now for the moment of truth. At least it lights up. Or not. Or it does. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, the display has lit up. Oh, it's loading Windows, or is it? Probably. Probably it is. Okay, now I'm genuinely excited. First, of course, I had to do some uh, jump wire 
shit. Uh, focus, damn it. Yeah, I took the pin 5 and 3 and connected them with a jumper cable. And of course, I haven't done any cable management because this is or was a pure experiment. But now, the most exciting part uh, plug and play works. Though I had to restart the uh, computer to get the sound card working. Now I have here a Thunderbolt 3 to th Thunderbolt 2 connector and then th Thunderbolt 2 to Firewire connector. This Firewire goes to my rack where this liquid sapphire unit is sitting and through it every sound on the system comes through. Which means now that I play one of my videos we get sound through Firewire, through Thunderbolt 3, using AMD system, Ryzen Threadripper 1950X. I mean, god damn it. If this isn't exciting, what is? I mean, now we can have, like, in AMD systems, like, Thunderbolt. I mean, that's, like, amazing. That, that's just, I mean, wow. I'm so excited, you know. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. A cute dog also says thanks. Yeah, who's a good doggo? Who's a good doggo? Yes, you are doggo. You are good doggo. Yes, you are. Okay, and a few final notes. Uh, the motherboard I'm using is Asus uh, Prime. X399-A motherboard. It was the cheapest at the time. And while the Thunderbolt seems to be working, uh, the USB-C part of the Thunderbolt port ain't. Like, I tried to plug... Does it... No, it doesn't focus. I tried to plug this USB-C uh, thumb drive in and it didn't recognize it for some reason, but that's what I have USB ports for. I only need the Thunderbolt for the Thunderbolt's sake, and now I've got it working, so I don't know. And uh, yeah, if, if I find any, or if you find any relevant information I forgot to tell, uh, please comment. Thank you.